What do you think of when you hear the word pineapple? For lots of folks, visions of this sweet fruit take them to an island paradise. Beautiful beaches, palm trees everywhere, and ocean views of beautiful blue water. Can't you just feel the breeze? You know, all this has me in the mood to put a tropical twist on a classic favorite. So we're gonna dive in and make my pineapple juice cake on this episode of Behind the Recipe. <laughs> did y'all see what I did there? <laughs> dive in. <laughs> this was originally my mom's recipe for an orange juice cake, but thanks to a suggestion from one of my blog followers, I changed it to pineapple and the rest is history. So it was perplexing to get a few comments and emails from folks saying that their cake didn't rise when they made it. After asking a few questions, I eventually decided that it had to have something to do with a particular brand of cake mix. I set out to solve the mystery by finding every brand of yellow and butter cake mix I could get my hands on and using them to test the recipe. Turns out my suspicions were correct. For some reason, there is a certain brand of cake mix that just will not work in this recipe. And oddly enough, I found the same complaints online after doing a little research. It seems that they changed the mix a few years ago and recipes that had always worked with this particular mix didn't work anymore. So to help you out and keep you guys from having the same issue, I updated the recipe a bit so I can show you which recipes that you can avoid. The problem is, is that I learned not everyone reads the entire recipe. Yeah, I'm a recipe skimmer. I do it all the time. I try to make myself read it all, but I just scan it real quick and start cracking eggs. Yeah, I bought the wrong cake mix and the result was just <laughs> with a capital <laughs> Don't be like me. Read the whole recipe, people. Read it all. So to make this, you're gonna need a box of yellow or golden butter cake mix. Vegetable oil, some powdered sugar. You don't really need one of these, but you know, they're just kind of fun to have around. You're gonna need some unsalted butter. I like to use unsalted in this case, especially when I'm baking so that we can control the salt content. How did this get in there? Hmm. Still cold. You're gonna need four eggs. What is that? What? Uh, what? What? Uh, Oh. Let's make a cake. Start by preheating the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Then grease and flour a 10 to 12 cup bundt pan. I recommend a thick walled old school cast aluminum pan for the best performance. Now I know this sounds like a hassle, but it's the most effective way to ensure your cake will turn out and not tear into pieces. That said, if you're like me and you have a super reliable bundt pan that never sticks, you can probably get away by spraying it with some non-stick baking spray, you know, the kind that already has flour in it, and then just calling it a day. Next, use an electric mixer to combine the cake mix, vegetable oil, pineapple juice, and eggs in a large bowl. You're gonna wanna beat this for about two minutes, then pour the batter into the prepared pan. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean and the cake is just starting to pull away from the sides of the pan. Allow the cake to start to cool in the pan while you make the glaze. Now the truth is, this is really more of a soak than it is a glaze. I mean, we're literally gonna soak the cake in it, but calling it a soak just seems weird. So I still call it a glaze, but you get the point. In a small saucepan, combine the powdered sugar, pineapple juice, and butter. Cook over medium-low until the butter has melted, and you're gonna to wanna to stir this pretty frequently. Use a skewer or a toothpick to poke holes in the top of the cake, then pour the warm glaze over the cake while it's still in the pan. It's gonna seem like a lot of glaze, but just keep pouring. Allow it to cool for 15 to 20 more minutes or until the cake is cool and most of the glaze has been absorbed into the cake. Then invert the cake onto a serving platter. 
Now, some of you have said that this seems like a lot of glaze, and the truth is that it is. You have to remember, though, this is more of a soak, and it makes a super moist cake. But if you're apprehensive about it, you can always use less, say, about half. Just keep in mind that most of your pineapple flavor is in this glaze, so if you skip it all together, you're gonna miss out. You know, in the South, the pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. It welcomes folks to our homes and extends an invitation of friendship. That's what makes my pineapple juice cake the most perfect thing to take together in. Yellow or golden butter? Yes. Here we go. Oh, wait, now I'm dizzy. Hold on. Wow. You know, the pie, uh, there's a pineapple there for me. Just give me a second. Okay. All right. Yes, I will get a little hot bed. That's why don't burn me with your hands. <laughs> You know, in the South, the pineapple is something else. <laughs> yep. You know, in the South, the pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. It welcomes friends and family to our homes and in extends and it's <laughs> the last thing I'm going to go. Hey, y'all. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my dad's channel.